Red to the Nail is issue one, written by Scott Lobdell and art by Dexter Sawyer. Uh, I want to start with a question for you guys. Okay. Can you tell me? No. What was the reason that I gave for wanting to read the issue one rather than the oh, rebirth? Oh, you, you wanted want, to you, see the team. Yeah, you want to see all three of them together, so they're not in this then, are they? Nope. Artemis shows up on the very last page. Oh, I'm great. fucking furious. You got, you got, you got Lobdell, my friend. I did. I really did. Uh, what was that about then? Oh, so it's it's uh, it's, it's more Jason, obviously, because the rest of them aren't fucking here. Jason! 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 So it starts with more flashbacks to his time in Crime Alley, you know. Yeah. Alright, can I just explain my reference there for people who don't play video games? Because I feel read? like. I feel like. like, like that, that's going to come up a lot, so you might as well do it. Yeah, yeah every time we talk about Jason Todd, I'm probably going to crack that joke. Uh, if you ever played Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain was a video game on the PS3, and it's about a father whose son goes missing, and you have to go looking for him because he's been kidnapped by like a murderer. And the scene where he goes missing is in like a shopping mall, and you play as the dad walking around, and there's, it literally says on the screen, press X to say Jason. And you just go around pressing X, and every time it says Jason, it's like a different, like, you know, version of him saying it. So you're, you're poorly acted at yeah. that. Yeah. So you're just walking around going, Jason, 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 Jason. <laughs> like so. so this happens each time you hit X? Yeah. Or do you have to time it? Yeah. You, time it. you can just keep pressing X and every time you press it there's a different version of Jason comes out. <laughs> you know what oh, it is? It's like, it's like they took a conversation you know and from the entire game every time he says Jason they just threw it all into one button and go I'll yeah. do. So basically Matt there's a running joke of, amongst video gamers when there's like a game presents you with like a moment where you have to press a button for it to do something mm-hmm. but it seems kind of pointless like why not just make this a cutscene? We call that mm-hmm. an X to Jason. X to Jason. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm getting hungry, so let's get through Connor's Corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it quick. Basically, yeah, it starts off a few years ago in Crime Alley, and it's after he did the stuff with Batman, but before he's taken in as Robin, Batman dumped him at some boarding school. But it was so a psychotic. Can I just point out, if this was meant to still be in this new 52, everything happened in five years, bollocks. Um, like, he's don't, just don't, collecting don't orphans. Go don't go there. He's collecting orphans. Ah. Uh, all right, so he's dumped him in a boarding school, right? Right, and it's called something Miss Margun's School for Kids or something, I don't know, whatever. Turns out she's not teaching them anything but to, to be criminals. So, yeah, Batman obviously comes in and has to rescue him. I don't understand why this was a thing. Like, why, why? Surely Batman would have more knowledge of where he's leaving yeah, these good, kids. Yeah, good job vetting the school, Bruce. Like, great detective there. You know... And I will say, I really Tell like the art. Tell me Lobdell doesn't flashback. understand the character he's writing. I know, hmm. I know. I do like the art in the flashback still. It's all the washed out colours, but just the reds popping out, and that is nice. I think that happened in the Rebirth issue as well. Ah, uh, well, basically you were going through this. Like, oh, they've muted everything but the one that's most like Ginger. So I it speak, spoke to you personally. <laughs> so, Connor, you're familiar with Harry Potter and the Pensieve, and you pull a memory out and drop it into the... Yeah. That that's what I did with Red Hood and the Outlaws Rebirth, <laughs> but I threw it out the window. I didn't throw it into a fancy bowl, because yeah. I don't ever want to revisit it. You, you never want to. You don't even want the option to go back. To Do that. you know yeah. what? I'm on Connor to keep reading it just so we can ask him at each issue what happened. Yep, <sighs> so I'm enjoying after, this. So after that, he's he's hunting down. There's some black mask shit going on. Oh great! It's, yeah, Red Hood, black mask. Uh, fun. Yeah, it's all kind of that, and he's like, "Oh, here's a target. We'll go get the target." And then Artemis pops out with a fuck off giant axe. I mean, like the axe is bigger than she is. I'm li- I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would get Matt. Just just when Matt thought he was out, Lobdell pulled him back in. Oh no. A- oh no 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 no! I could find that. I could find that page online of the Google search if yeah. I really want to see it. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's sticking with it, Connor. Yeah. He's sticking with it. I don't know. I want to see the team, but. That's a I yes. Like so it's, Connor, it's drawing me in. Like, this first is the, this arcs is about the them finding Bizarro. So the next issue, issue two, in a month's time, Connor will be covering that again. Uh, you've heard it here first, folks. Connor will be covering this, that. This is his trap. I want to see the team. But then by the time I see the team, I'll be like four issues in. Oh, also, the next issue is Red Hood versus Artemis. Just what I fucking wanted. I want a fucking team, not this shit. So but this is the problem. We'll hear I have more to get through this. <laughs> we'll hear more about this from Connor next month.